Hello everyone, this is Game of Joe, and welcome to another game of Let's Play Civilization 4. Um, there went something wrong with the uh, audio uh, capturing on this uh, game, so this will actually be a uh, post-game commentary. Um, so this means that I have to talk for about uh, 30 minutes, so that, that's pretty long. On the upside, I don't have to play at the same time, so uh, I can divide my uh, my uh, attention just to uh, just to speaking. Um, I made a list of things I uh, I'm going to uh, talk about, and I hope this list is long enough so uh, I can keep talking uh, to you. Uh, first of all, I will uh, say something about this leader. I'm going to. Uh, uh, say something about the gameplay of course because well it's a let's play video um, and when I don't have something to say about the game I can choose uh, from some other uh, topics I've picked so uh, why do I like Civ 4 uh, why do I make this video and how to improve your game and if there are any other uh, Civilization 4 commentators so um, let's first uh, take a look at the, at the start I guess because it's uh, going to load Yes, there we are. Um, okay, so uh, here's the start. Hmm. I didn't remember this. Well, I probably should mention that, that this is a game from the uh, Syphonetics forum, so uh, I will post a link in the description so you can uh, can find this game yourself. Anyways, uh, here's the start and I will decide to settle in place because it's it's a it's a pretty good spot and it will get even better when I settle but I have some uh, elephants which are uh, well first of all it's great for the happiness and second of all it's also uh, a good military unit then I do have the deer as uh, extra food and I have the uh, the wheat and as you see I also have the corn so this is a, a great capital for uh, for whipping, though uh, if I'm correct, I hardly didn't whip any this game, so that's that's definitely a uh, uh, a mistake that I made. Well, further you see uh, stone in the capital, and I didn't exploit the stone at all. And well, it's also because I when I saw the gold, I thought, hey, maybe I can do something nice here, and. Uh, that that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, but but with the uh, the stone in the capital, there are many ways to exploit it. You can build the pyramids. Uh, there's there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of forests are in the capital. So so there's I think there are many ways to play this map. Anyways, uh, as soon as I saw the gold, and I thought, oh, this is so very close by. So I. Uh, explored a little bit around the gold because if if it's just gold and nothing around it, it's just kind of a waste of a city. Um, and what I'm going to do in, uh, in yeah this episode, I'm uh, going to uh, try to uh, oracle uh, construction. So what I need for that is that I I need to get to writing reasonably fast. So I can uh, get a, a great, great scientist, which can build moth, and if I'm time it correctly, then the turn after I build moth, the, uh, the oracle should be ready. And then, if I don't forget to take masonry, because uh, that that if you forget it, then uh, well your plan got kind of screwed. Uh, then you can take uh, construction from the oracle. And I decided to do that because, well, the uh, it's the Khmer, and I know you should play the map, but I thought, well, let's use this uh, elephant. And even though if it wasn't a ballistic elephant, because the uh, ballistic elephant isn't really a great improvement over the normal elephant, uh, then it it still is a pretty uh, viable option if you can uh, pull it off and. Uh, get some quick elephants and quick catapults to take over the uh, continent. 
So talking about the ballistic elephant, let's let's see about uh, the Lear, what I think of him. He is uh, expensive and creative. Well, they're, they're, uh, I, I think personally creative is, is very strong because uh, it lets you uh, settle your secondary cities at places where you can yeah you can place them at an idle spot instead of just uh, set them directly next to a research you uh, you might need because five turns later you are able to work the whole uh, uh, the whole fat cross so that that's really powerful especially at the start um, then expensive well you always need workers you uh, I think you will always build a granary so that that's a pretty nice uh, pretty nice help too and the plus two uh, um, health which you which you gain are also uh, really nice well uh, on this map I, I probably don't use it but I will later settle uh, a, uh, a city uh, at the food food plains and then it's it definitely helps to get this to uh, extra health well then let's go uh, through his uh, starting technologies which are uh, hunting and uh, mining. I'm usually not really a fan of uh, hunting. Uh, I'd rather have the wheel and well in this case I also would rather have the wheel but then I would definitely research hunting myself so in, in this map it's not really bad to, to start with hunting because you have two improvements in your capital which need uh, the hunting technology to improve. Then uh, mining, uh, I think mining is uh, uh, together with agriculture and the wheel my one of my favorites because it allows you to get uh, to burns working reasonably fast and thus you can uh, get a fast uh, rush off of someone you can uh, uh, get uh, chops in very fast and you can use slavery very fast so that's all uh yeah that's that's really good um then the uh the uh, berry barrow i think it's the bar berry yes the berry this uh it's his unique building and the unique building is uh is really powerful it's an aqueduct that gives you one extra food so it's uh it's a half a specialist you get for free and that that's really uh, really strong. Uh, then the uh, the unique unit is the uh, ballistic elephant, and I think it's not really uh, really special. I mean the the elephant itself is already very strong, so I think it sh it would be like way overpowered if they make an extremely good uh, elephant out of it. And this elephant is it's it's okay. I uh, in this game I I actually used <laughs> the uh, elephant a few times to my advantage because I could uh, pick off a few uh, horses which were uh, just in the open, protected by a by a big stack, and then I could just take out those horses. So it's it's nice, but it's not really great. So uh, as you see, I am uh, well. I need the gold to uh, to pull it off because you r really need to attack pretty fast to uh, to writing, and then you have to attack reasonably fast to uh, um, which uh, to priesthood to uh, get the oracle. Um, so I try to uh, settle the uh, the second city as soon as possible. And I think I could have done this faster by uh, chopping, pre-chopping more, and probably by uh, making a whip or using the whip. Well, one of the other mistakes I frequently make is that I don't build enough workers. Uh, especially when I started playing this game, which is 
I don't know, very very long ago because I, I really enjoyed uh, Civilization 3 and when this game came out I thought I well I first played it and then I thought wow this this is really a great game though it, it's completely different from uh, from Civilization 3 well it, there are a lot of things which they have in common but it, it's definitely a whole other system and I especially like the change they make because there was uh, in uh, Civilization 3 there was sort of one winning strategy where you just shoot back your cities very close and that, that usually won you games um, well I think that's I covered most of it for uh, for the gameplay for now and for uh, yeah and I covered the leader so uh, Oh, one one thing I should probably mention is that I all also forgot to uh, to improve the stone uh, when I got masonry. It took way too long to improve the stone. Well, so um, let's let's uh, pick one of my topics where I uh, wanted to talk about. Um, well, uh, let's start with the first one. Uh, why do I like Civilization so much? Well, I, as I mentioned, I uh, I played Civ 3, but I also played uh, Civ 2, and now I obviously play Civ 3 and uh, Civ 4. Um, and I also uh, have Civ 5, though I don't really like Civ 5, and the reason why I don't Civ 5 is exactly or is exactly why I do like Civ 4 because Civ 4 and the Civ games in general have th this is by the way a very stupid mistake to send the uh, worker uh, north to the cows instead of south which is the uh, safer option but uh, that's just uh, well um, so uh, Civ 4 it, it's really great for me because it has so many options available there are there are so many uh, so many choices you can make and each game is different um, there are many ways to, to win a game I, I'm sure that uh, I haven't looked at other uh, at other players uh, playing this map but I'm sure they they had a whole different approach to this game than I did they could probably go for the pyramids uh, or uh, uh, just uh, wait for war until uh, rifling. Uh, maybe they they rush very early because well, Washington is very close and uh, uh, what what's his name? Charlie is very close. Though Charlie probably isn't the best rush target. Anyways, you you have horses nearby, so it's also if, you know you could also take the uh, the Oracle and build uh, horseback riding from it. Or, uh, or you can just research it yourself and take over the world with horse archers. So that's that's yeah, that's one of the things I really like about uh, about this game. And that's and another thing what I like about this game is that I'm still not able to win at uh, the uh, most. Uh, yeah, the most difficult level, which is uh, DT, and I also am like, well, I think I win about fifty percent or something of my uh, of my uh, immortal game. So that's that's really a challenge for me. I don't know if I suppose if I can win a DT like like ninety percent of the time. I probably don't like this game anymore that much. So, uh, yeah. So the, the diversity of this game, the different choices you can make, the different strategies. That's really what uh, what keeps me, uh, yeah, interested in this game. Let's see uh, how far we are into this uh, game. Well, we are uh, about at half time. Yeah. I think I mentioned before, but this is sort of a recording from a recording. 
um, because the audio uh, didn't record. So I'm just watching this movie and uh, record it again. <laughs> Well, the uh, the second city it, it has basically it has uh, three uh, three uh, good uh, workable tiles, which are the corn, the cow, and the gold. So what you want is to work all three, uh, like almost all the time, and you would ha yeah, it wouldn't be smart to uh, whip to whip those tiles away because they're well, they give you a huge. Uh, huge gain. Um, right now I'm already thinking about my uh, my next city. I uh, want to get out another city uh, uh, before I start on the uh, the Oracle so I at this point I decided to settle uh, west from the capital at the uh, white dot and the reason for that is that I, well, I'm going to build Moth, and I I need a lot of troops, and the uh, catapults and elephants are, um, well, they are kind of expensive to build. So uh, with the forest, it's uh, thirty uh, thirty hammers each. That's that's pretty uh, pretty nice. So I have at that spot there are. I think like ten, probably two, four, six, eight. Yeah, about ten. And there are in the just in the uh, cross are ten four, so that's uh, three hundred hammers. And that that's really really good. Further, the spot is pretty bad, so uh, uh, that's why. Uh, well, uh, you will notice later that I decide to settle in other city first because I'm not not ready to uh, to war anyway or yeah to chop anyways because I don't have the uh, required technologies yet um, so wh why do I make uh, make this video well I uh, I have a lot of uh, free time right now I have a sort of uh, holiday and next week I will start with my uh, with my master again, so that's uh, when I will probably have no time, or at least not as much time to uh, to upload videos. But uh, I'm I'm playing this game. I I played this game, and I thought, well, I want to get better at this game, and probably others also want to get better. So uh, um, it's not really much trouble for me to. Uh, to record, uh, to record it. Though I must say I, I have quite some difficulties yet. I think I record four, four or five. No, I think more. I think I've recorded six games right now, and about half of them went uh, great, like perfectly, without any flaws in the audio or in the video itself. So. Uh, it, it's it's a little bit of trouble, but not too much. And uh, so uh, that's that's why I make this video because it's well it's it's easy, and I probably learn a lot of myself because I I noticed already that I uh, win more games than I won before I recorded, and this is I think uh, due to the fact that I don't like to lose but I especially don't like to lose in public <laughs> so uh, uh, I, I think I, I concentrate a little bit better I think better about what my next step will be in making this video for example you might notice that after each session or before each session or sometimes both I set the goals for that session so I I really know uh, what I would like to achieve and why why do I like to achieve it so for this session it was really really easy I should do everything to uh, get as fast to uh, construction uh, as possible and thus I should do everything to get the uh, 
get the uh, great scientist and get the oracle. That that's that's what I need for this session. So and usually I I don't tend to focus that much. So that I think oh wait I have stone I can probably sneak in the great wall or yeah something like that. But still I do make do make a lot of mistakes. So uh yeah, that's too bad. Now now I'm trying to uh you see I've still eight turns left for my great scientist, which I can't really uh hurry any further. So I try to get the or Oracle uh finished by uh, nine turns. Because I first have to get the uh, great scientist. So this is this is probably another mistake I make. As I mentioned, I I should probably went for uh, went for stone first instead of for pottery first, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I mainly make this video to uh, to get uh, better and to to help others getting better. I'm thinking of making a video on the. Uh, Noble's difficulty, and then try to explain till about uh, well, till about the 80s what I'm doing and and why I'm doing it, because I I think many Noble's players probably don't focus focus enough. They uh, they just or they don't they don't really think about why they would research a technology. And uh, I, I think everyone should be able to beat this game at normal. Not not uh, not probably not the the first ten times, but probably after after ten times, you when you get a little bit of feeling for the game, you should be able uh, to win to win the game at normal. Um, well. Oh yeah, let's let's talk a little bit about the gameplay because now, uh, as you see, I decided to settle Anchor Thom uh, east from the capital, and that's because it's a pretty good spot. I can uh, cottage it, and uh, it will slowly grow. And during the war, I can whip some uh, some of it. So uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, it's a very nice spot. I get the cows and I can borrow the wheat from the uh, from the capital. So it's a it's a pretty decent spot. Well, let's see. Uh, how long? All right. So um, yeah. Well, I already talked a little bit about it, but how to improve your game? Well, for me, it really. Uh, uh, I first I have been I think a prince or monarch player for for two years and I I sometimes beat it but then I yeah I never really uh, really got the hang of it I never I, I think I won about fifty percent at prince or monarch I I don't know really which uh, which game I was playing and then I decided that I should make some some uh, choices like I'm going to war and I will do everything to uh, to go to war and I won't be distracted by wonders improving my economy building anything else than military units so that that's when I immediately went to to emperor just just because I uh, I made some some choices so uh, and that's I think a little bit the same as in real life because uh, in uh, in my life I sometimes also don't dare to make to make uh, decisions because I'm afraid I take the wrong decision. But I've learned that if if you make a decision, it's it's usually better than making no decision at all. Because uh, if you don't make a decision, then time, time will decide for you. And if you do make a decision, then you uh, 
Oh, I should remove this cursor, so I'm sorry. Uh, then, uh, uh, what was I? I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, that if you do make a decision, then you will uh, soon find out it, if it's a, a right decision or a wrong decision, and then you can uh, take actions. If it's wrong, then you should say, oh, I made the wrong decision and uh, I, uh, I have to do something else. And that's also, in this game, it's it's also important that sometimes you make a wrong decision, but if you do make a wrong decision, then don't don't waste any time in investing more hammers or investing more gold in your wrongly picked technology or your your wrongly built market because it only takes two turns to finish it. No, just just immediately switch and do what's what will give you the the best gain. So. Uh, Yeah, I I think that's uh, that that's will that will really improve your game if you just keep keep the focus. So here I uh, I read the uh, construction. So now I'm able to build catapults, but not the uh, elephants yet. And I first wonder well, wow, why can't I build the elephants? But I don't have horseback riding yet, so that that's why. Yeah, I built the Great Wall just for a little bit of uh, uh, gold, but it didn't get me that much gold. So, so now I'm I'm going to. Uh, you see, I'm um, here. I'm getting the extra scientist. Oh, it got me seven gold. Wow, what a huge amount. Um. So I built the scientist in the other city because there are really only two <laughs> or uh, three uh, three workable tiles, and the uh, well, there is not really another tile, which is great. So I mentioned this earlier, but uh, slavery—I uh, should have went for slavery way earlier because there is so much food in the capital and. Uh, well, one person is worth like uh, 30 hammers, or I think it's a thousand people, if you... Uh, so that's... Uh, I shouldn't say people, I should say population, that sounds a little bit better. <laughs> so that that's really worth it to uh, to go into slavery earlier, and I think if I went to slavery a little bit earlier, I probably could have uh, kept the... Uh, Rush uh, or Russia? Yeah. The rush of uh, quite a couple of years early earlier. Um, yeah, well, I have a couple of uh, minutes left. I think yeah, it's the 28th minute, and I have till the 30 th till uh, 33 minutes, and I have one topic left, which are. Uh, which are other uh, commentators <laughs> and uh, well other commentators are also definitely a big part of why I have become better of this game and I think everyone will get better uh, at this game if you check out some other uh, uh, YouTube channels which I will link uh, in the description and uh, before YouTube there were also what the Syphonetics forums a uh, few people who uh, who really uh, did some great commentating on how they uh, how they play the game. They they documented it really well with uh, screenshots, and they also uh, explained their their thought and their vision about how to uh, how to continue the game. And then, uh, well, they they usually played like. I don't know, like 20 or 40 turns, and then uh, the viewers could uh, could give some input and give their thoughts, and then finally they would decide uh, how uh, how to continue the game. I think the first guy I I've read, I think almost all his uh, all his cases or yeah, cases. I don't know if it's cases, but all his uh, all the games, his uh, 
assist you chill. Well, it's difficult for me to uh, to pronounce, but uh, he had some. Uh, he had a topic or a threat, and it was the uh, ALC. It's the All Leader Challenge, and he played every game. Oh no, he played every uh, every leader in the game, and. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's he started I think at Monarch or Prince, and slowly uh, worked his way up to Immortal, and I think he might even play some DT. I I don't know for sure. Anyway, another guy is uh, Gosin. He's also in the Sif Fanatics forums, and uh, he basically did the same. Just to continue the uh, the stories, and uh, yeah, you could see him play better. I think he definitely played DT at the uh, at the end of the uh, series. So uh, if you don't like to read all that much, then it would probably be better uh, to uh, to check out the uh, me and team. He also, I think, posts his games on the forums, but he does also a lot of uh, civilization uh, walkthroughs um, or a let's play civilization on his uh, YouTube channel, and his link also will be in the description, of course. Um, on his channel there are also a lot of other games, so uh, if you are interested in those you can uh, watch them too, of course. Um, yeah, and the last one, or at least the last one that I know of is Absolute Zero, also from the uh, Siphonetics forums. Um, he has a, a YouTube channel, uh, it's called like Chris762501 or <laughs> I don't know exactly, it's a kind of weird name, but uh, and he uh almost yeah he plays a lot of d t and uh that that's really nice to watch and he doesn't usually play like the conventional style he sometimes skips uh agriculture uh until after uh the alphabet for example <laughs> so that that's kind of he yeah he is sometimes has a very strange style of play but uh I really like watching his videos, so uh, you should definitely uh, check him out too. Um, that that's by the way one other thing of how to improve your game. I think you should uh, sometimes just try to uh, to play uh, one level higher than than you usually play, or two levels higher to see where where you're going wrong. Because the start is really important, and if you if you notice that your start uh isn't that great then uh yeah you you should first try to focus on on your start instead of uh, the late game and um yeah one one thing which probably not everyone agree but it's it's reloading or replaying a map i i think it's it's okay to uh to replay a map and see what you have could done better. I personally, I don't really like to replay a map because I know I know so much about the map already. But I think it's it could be a very good exercise. Uh, same for reloading. I oh, that's that's the end of the game. So I will just uh, finish about uh, what I think about reloading. But I I think it's okay to uh, to reload but then in the bigger picture so uh, not just if you lost one battle then you shouldn't reload because uh, then you could like win the game with just four X-Men and uh, reload every time you lose one X-Men so that's that's not going to help you improve the game but if you go like uh, 20 turns back and try to uh, play out the Diplo uh, a little bit different and see what how it affects your game then uh, then I think you can learn from it um, though you shouldn't make a habit of uh, reloading the game that that's uh, that's not good anyways uh, thank you for watching and I will uh, see you next time goodbye <laughs>